are the rage. PS4, Need for Speed, Grand Theft Auto, Nintendo and Xbox represent an industry that's worth 2.2 billion rand in South Africa and is expected to grow to 3.3 billion by the year 2017. Now that's according to a PwC analysis of the local internet entertainment industry. CNBC Africa's Simone Moodley takes a look at South Africa's gaming industry. The gaming market is divided into various sectors such as console gaming, PC gaming, mobile gaming and games advertising. Just last month, a Cape Town developed iPad and iPhone game called Snail Boy hit the charts. The game claimed a spot in the 20 best new games category in the US App Store. We're super excited f for the fact that the games category is released in South Africa now. You'll see a lot more people downloading games. You'll see even more developers wanting to get into that stream. Um, and it will take off. Um, South Africa's got so much talent when it comes to um, game design because we've been building games for a very long time. According to financial services group PwC, the PC gaming market and a robust multi-generational console market offers a stable platform for future gaming and a launch pad to the rest of the continent. Mobile gaming, however, is set to steal the show, expecting to account for about 39% of South Africa's gaming revenue, which is 1.3 billion rand by 2017, reflecting the South African consumer's commitment to mobile devices as their primary interactive entertainment platform. There's uh, two or three big trends in gaming. One is a big move away from PC gaming towards mobile gaming, and that's gaming on a smartphone or on a tablet, where people download a gaming app and they uh, play the game on their mobile device. And that's often where the invisible purchases are happening, because people will, will um, make purchases within that app that are completely invisible in the uh, traditional economy. And the other big player in gaming is of course the consoles and in particular the PlayStation, the Xbox and the Nintendo Wii. And all of those are continually coming out with new versions, new innovations that continue to drive sales. Rage, a weekend long exhibition dedicated to video games and technology, held its 11th annual event this past month at the Coca-Cola Dome in Johannesburg. The event broke its own attendance records with over 32,000 gamers, tech consumers and computer fanatics swarming through the gates. Rage is the only event in Africa where gamers have the opportunity to hold the controllers of unreleased consoles in their hands for the very first time. Rage every year is just something to look forward to. Um, the new games, the new technology, um, everything you get, the experience as well. Um, I think the most fulfilling thing about Rage is the experience. Oh, I think people like games, uh, it's a fun enjoyment, I mean, it's, a, it's time out from the natural world. I just think it's, uh, you know, we've got a hectic lifestyle and to, to play some games, I think it's great. Console gaming is the biggest market in South Africa at present, with mobile gaming in a close second. The console gaming market made up of current generation and previous generation hardware generated 919 million rand in sales last year while mobile gaming generated 694 million rand. Well, I, I'm saying they'll have a better life, actually, once they experience the PS4. So, so what are some of the great advantages of it? I mean, it's the next generation of the next generation of gaming console. Tell us what you think the highlights are. Well, yeah, I mean, as, as you, it's, been, uh, it's been seven years since the kind of the last iteration of, of consoles. And uh, I mean, it just comes with a whole lot more functionality, certainly speed. Um, visually, it's it's more immersive and it's and it's it's a really f fantastic experience. Um, and and more importantly, from a social aspect, uh, you know, it gives you the, a lot more ability to to share your gaming experiences with your friends. A PlayStation kind of on many levels sort of revolutionized the market there. I mean, the PlayStation 2 is still one of the highest selling consoles of all time. I mean, like if you look at the number of units sold, mm. PlayStation 2 did amazing things for the video game market. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're becoming more than just gaming machines. Mm. I think that that's, that's the big thing to remember. So you look at the, at the capacity of the consoles now, you know, it, it's it's phenomenal. I mean, the, the it, you can play movies on them. You can use the hard I mean, the storage space, the hard drive. There's no more like cartridges, and you know, it's a lot of it's digital download. You can download. You don't necessarily even have to have a have a disc. I mean, you can digital download off the PlayStation Store and Xbox Live. And okay, Papa. 
Let's see what you made up. <laughs> God. Yeah, I haven't yeah. changed his clothes yet, um, but you can actually change his clothes and so change what he looks like. So, so you can kind of like create your own person. You can. PC gaming was third, and PwC projects that by 2017, the PC gaming market will contribute about 11% to South Africa's total gaming scene. Last year, the PC market generated 394 million rand. South Africa's PC market is currently larger than the global average. It is big, you know, and it is growing um, exceptionally. We, we've got in, we've got an online gaming league, what, what we call Do Talkum Do Gaming, and we are growing that league. People playing online every day, um, with at least more than 60% every year. So now today we've got 4,200 hardcore gamers that are playing in our league, and we've got the top 600 here playing in the final for the Do Gaming League. So it, it is just awesome, and it's growing. But and the prize money, what's the prize money like? The prize money is it's 1.3 million in prizes for the winning plan. If I had to ask you guys to calculate how much money is over here, how much money is over here? Mine is about 25 and his is about 40. The real driver for this um, within the South African market is one of the increased access uh, to the internet mm -hmm. and that's driving a little bit on the, you know, on the online side of things. But the significant growth that we're seeing is really in the mobile gaming space. Um, it really is growing significantly. Um, console games um, still continue to, uh, to dominate the market in terms of, uh, in terms of spend. But the mobile gaming is fast catching up and by 2017 we see that uh, mobile and console are going to count for about 40% of the market each.